Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to ARK. It is the morning of day 7. We are back here at Far's Peak this morning to pick up this RG trap that I left behind by accident. Should have just taken it with me before we left, but totally forgot I was too focused on harvesting the metal that was up here. Oh boy. Okay. Probably should have checked for threats before I just started picking that thing up, but no big deal. Red guy's got our back. I forgot his name was Red Guy. I called him Big Red in the last episode. The entire episode. I don't think anybody even caught it either. Nobody cares. Big Red, Red Guy. Same butthole, different finger, you know? We got a level at least. Taking melee damage to over 400. I like that. I got a large bear trap with me. And uh, with the bear trap and these pieces that we're picking up today, we are going to try and tame a Parasur, which I've got a Parasur saddle on me. And then eventually we can make the Parasur platform saddle. So instead of carrying all my little dinosaurs to the new base, we can just load them up on the Parasur saddle and walk them all over there uh, all at one time. You know, I'm not sure how much the Parasur can hold. Maybe we can even throw like uh, the, you know, thick on there or maybe the, the Stegos. I'm not sure. Either way, I want one. So I need this trap because the trap we have set up on the beach that we caught the T-Rex in, that's not going to be big enough for a Parasur. So uh, before we go and try and do that, though, since we're up here, I want to head over to the snow biome and kill some stuff over there to get some fur so I can use that to make uh, the fur armor because then eventually I want to get deeper into the snow biome, uh, tame a wolf or two, get a little wolf pack. They're always good to have. Plus, I think uh, a dire wolf is one of the better tames to bring into a cave when we go artifact hunting. Got a little rumble going on over here and those mammoths look hurt. So we're going to go take advantage of that. We'll just finish them off and harvest them with Red Guy. Get their fur. We won't get as much fur harvesting them with Red Guy as we would if we used an axe, but I'm not jumping off Red Guy to try and harvest them with an axe with all these crazy-ass pigs around. Just want to eat it and move on. And a couple more up here. They're hurt as well. Oh, we got another RG. He wants to eat them, but I'm gonna. Fuck you, RG. It's about to be some RG on RG violence. Come on. Oh, yeah. Give me that far. Nice. In and out, baby. That's how I like to do it. Just ask my wife. She'll tell you. She never knows if I'm coming or going. But I'm... There's another one. And what do you think? Should we pick up one of these wolves, maybe? Try and tame it now. Fuck it. Should we do it? I'm feeling a little spontaneous. Oop. Poop. Come here, you one of you fuckers. Oh, level 105. That's pretty good. The thing about picking up wolves is they attack you while you're carrying them, so you can't carry them very far. Luckily, red guy's got a good amount of hit points, but we're going to drop this bitch off right here. Wrap her up with the bola. Oh, no. Red guy's pissed. Chill, red guy. Oh, man. She is hurt. I don't know if this is going to work. We might kill her before we knock her out. Oh, shit. Well, we tried. Ow. Oh, there's got to be an easier way than this. Yeah, this is pretty stupid. Let's not get red guy killed. Come here, sheep. We can carry this sheep to a safer place and kill it and take its fur. It's not a sheep. It's a deer. Megaloceros, giant deer. I used to call it a sheep all the time and people would get mad at me. It's not a sheep. So then I'd call it a cow and really piss them off. Yoink. And down goes the rhino. I wasn't gonna kill him, but he wouldn't stop fucking with me. All right, that should be enough fur. Let's grab this drop, and then we will head south. The uh, Parasurs are going to be located around the swamp area, so it's going to get a little dicey. What now? Fucking bees. Get out of here, bees. Come on. Seriously. Must be a hive around somewhere. Uh, 
Nah, whatever, I don't care. I don't need honey right now. Let's just go. Well, we might as well get this shit. When else am I gonna be up here with another dinosaur, you know? Fuck it. Give Red Guy the levels. And, uh, now while we got this XP boost, let's do some murdering. Ow! Shit. <laughs> I probably should have picked a, uh, easier group of dinosaurs to start a fight with. But whatever. Tougher the dinosaurs, the more XP, right? Is that how it works? Jeez, Big Red is not looking so good. <laughs> Two levels? Well, that sucks. Alright, there's another one. Uh, let's go health. Uh, we got an Alpha Raptor. We'll get a bunch of levels for killing this thing. Come on. There we go. Let's eat it. Let's see how we're looking now. Seven, that's better. Nice. There's another level. Oh, another Alpha Raptor. Don't mind if I do. All right, how we looking? Six more. Help, melee, and wait. We really made the most out of that explore note, didn't we? Well, since we're here, might as well stop by real quick. I'll show you the little bit of work that I got done. I made the base bigger, as you can see. We'll continue to expand on this. I put in a temporary rooftop over Fred just to make sure he stays protected. Loaded him up with berries. Make sure he doesn't starve to death. And uh, I also put in a water tap over here. So we can get a drink or fill up our water skin right from here instead of having to go down to the water. To fill up the water skin, you just put it inside and it will fill up. And that obviously works for any container you're using, a glass jar or a canteen. I put a railing out here on the balcony so I don't uh, just walk off there by accident. And if you don't know how a water tap works, uh, basically you need a water intake near a water source and that will power the water tap. So there's my intake right down there. Oh, check that out. We got a Quetzal right here. This is another dinosaur we need to tame eventually, because this is another dinosaur that we can craft a platform saddle for, and then we can use that to fly our dinosaurs around the map to, like a boss fight, for example. We're not ready to do that just yet, though. Why am I in first person here? Am I glitched out? Let me land and see if I can get out of first person. Um, but yeah, we're not ready to try and tame a Quetzal yet because th there's a couple of ways we can do it. Hold on. What the hell? Oh, there we go. It, that was my fault. I must have went into first person by accident. Uh, oh, let's get some more fur. Why the hell not? But, uh, yeah, there's a couple of ways we can tame a Quetzal. Uh, one, we either need to get a griffin first, because you can shoot off of the back of a griffin, so we can just follow it around and shoot at it until it falls out of the sky. Or we need to tame a scorpion and set that scorpion to, you know, aggressive or whatever. And then we can carry the scorpion with red guy and just get real close to the Quetzal and the scorpion will start stinging it until it passes out. So either way, I don't care. I want a griffin and a scorpion, so whichever one we get first, that's the route we'll go. We got a few up here, and this looks like a much safer place to set up a trap than the swamp. Level 50? Nah. 25? No way. How about you? 45? Nope, that's not gonna work either. Here's one by the uh, palm trees. 150! There it is! Okay, there's another one over there. We're gonna have to take that one out. Oh, yeah. That's a low level. Alright, we want to kill the low level because if we don't, it's gonna fuck with us while we're trying to trap the 150. Alright, that's taken care of. And there's another one over here. Let's take a look at it. Okay, another low level. Here's our 150. I think the 150 is mad at us right now, but, you know, we're murdering his friends, so 
That's bound to happen. I'm stuck on these fucking trees. Okay, let's kill this one now. Done. Now, where'd the 150 go? Oh, son of a bitch. There's the 150. And it's still mad at us. So it's going to make things interesting. I want to get this Sarko out of here. There we go. Sarko's dead, but now we got this chicken that wants to fuck around. As dangerous as it is right here, this isn't a bad location to set up a trap. We got plenty of room. Okay, chicken's dead. Did the one, 150 left? Walked away? Knocking down trees? Kind of perfect timing then. You can set up the trap and then lure it back here. So, oh shit. Not good. Um, this is gonna be difficult. Here we go. This area will work. Okay, gotta do this fast. We basically wanna go like that, and then, should I snap it? Is that gonna be big enough? Oh god, oh god. Oh shit, okay, we gotta redo that. And he just walked right through that gateway. That's not, that's not a good sign. I think this trap's gonna work. It's fighting a snake right now. Okay, so basically what I wanna do is put in two more gateways and the bear trap. So we need the bear trap. And then once we get the thing to step in the bear trap and get stuck, we'll put in the fourth gateway, trapping it inside. If it wasn't mad at us, this would be easy to do. Okay, this could work. The dino's in a good position. Let's get the gateways in. There we go. Now, the bear trap. Uh, that's good. Now, we just gotta get it stuck in that bear trap. Whoop. Oh, boy. This is gonna be fun. Let's park uh, Red Guy right here, and we'll try and do this on foot. Stop following me, Red Guy. Okay. Really? With this Dilo? Come on, get the fuck out of here. Oh, it's such bullshit. Now I can't see, and this thing's gonna attack Red Guy. Damn it! No! Get mad at me! Chase me! Okay, it's mad at me. This could work. Come on. This way. Let's go. No, don't don't run away. There's a Simon. I don't know what it's running from. That's not a good sign. Oh god, what's happening? Oh, you piece of shit! Simon just got stuck in the trap. Motherfucker! That's it. Bear traps are one-time use. Unbelievable. You son of a bitch! Oh god. Uh, red guy. Little help. Little help, please. Fuck. Oh, this is such bullshit. Welcome to Ark. All right, that's good. Uh, but our trap has failed. Here comes uh, the Parasaur, there's a snake. Oh shit, he's in the trap. Stay in there, please. Come on. Yes, oh, we did it. I am the best, worst arc player in the world. <laughs> I constantly fail and then somehow succeed at the same time, it's crazy. Fuck you, snake. Oh, I got bit by that snake. So my torpor is going up. Hopefully I don't pass out. Okay, venom wore off, so we're good. We're not gonna pass out. We got red guy chilling right here. Watching our back. 
Now we just gotta hope we have enough arrows to knock this thing out. We should. We should be fine. I really need to switch over to Trank darts, though. Alright, let's take a look at him. Oh, we're getting real close. And he's still got plenty of health left, so... We're not running a risk of killing him with these arrows. There's another Parasur fighting something over there, but... As long as it stays over there, we're okay. Dude, I cannot believe a Simon got stuck in the bear trap. I mean... Fucking perfection, right? When it comes to humor and comedy, I couldn't have wrote that any better. I got these potatoes, which... That's like one of the better things you can feed this thing, but that's not going to be enough potatoes, so we're going to have to grab some berries. I mean, I know there are places on the island where you can get free veggies, like you could pick them or whatever, but I don't remember where they are, and I'm not going to go flying around aimlessly. I would rather protect the Parasur, stay nearby, and we'll feed it the mojo berries. It'll fucking eat those. There we go. Oh, that was wild. We're gonna name him Chief Wiggum. All right, Wiggum. Here is your saddle. We're gonna obviously ride Wiggum home, and we're gonna have Red Guy follow us. Well, I'm gonna cut through the swamp. That's the fastest way. I mean, I guess we could go south and go along the south beach, but... I'm just gonna do it. We got Red Guy. Chief Wiggum has got a ton of health. He hits hard. I think we'll be fine. Get out of my way, tree! What is even attacking us? Is that... Is it frogs? Is that what happened? I stepped on a frog and now they're all pissed at me? This is ridiculous. Red Guy, are you even helping? He might be set to passive still. You know what? Let's go attack my target. Oh, let's just get the hell out of here. This is fucking crazy. Okay, so cutting through the swamp. Bad idea. I admit it. It's a bad idea. Fuck. I still don't even know what's hitting me. I think it's frogs. Holy shit. What was that? Oh my god. Dude, what in the shitballs fuck is that? Holy shit. It's shooting lasers at me. Bro, what the fuck? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. We're all gonna die. I'm running, red guy. Good luck. <laughs> you fucking deal with it. Alright, Wiggum still has more than half his health left. Flee, red guy! Setting him to flee. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know where he's at. Oh, there he is. Fighting fucking Mothra up there. Holy shit, dude, that thing was shooting lasers at me. Oh, here comes red guy. I just wanna go home. That's all. Just wanna go home. I don't know how we got out of that mess. This Sarko is eating my asshole. And I hit another Parasur by accident, so now we got some Parasur on Parasur violence. Can't we all just get along? Holy shit. Next time I say let's just cut through the swamp, somebody smack me in the face. Come on, all right. Oh God, let's get out of here. Health. Look at all these fucking berries. Ooh, that's a lot of narco berries. Those are gonna come in handy. Well, it was an absolutely brutal walk home, but we all made it. And that's all that matters. Now let's see if we can squeeze Wiggum into this backyard. Might need to get him a girdle. Open sesame. 
Make room, motherfuckers. Come on. Squeeze in there. That, that should be good enough. Now see if we can get the door closed. It's like when your mom tells you to clean your room and you just shove everything into the closet. Okay. Man, what a successful day. That was awesome. Got a high-level Pariser. We did everything we set out to do. Now, to craft the Pariser platform saddle, we're going to need cementing paste, which we can craft, but we're going to need silica pearls, 45 of them. I only have like 15, I think. So let's go see if we can find some. Other than underwater caves, which we can't do right now, I think our best bet is either trilobites or beaver dams. Well, this is crazy. I have been all around the south side of this island and up through these rivers. I have not seen one beaver dam. Not one. I mean, to the point where I'm questioning, are they even in the game anymore? They've got to be. I mean, since I started playing, I haven't seen one, I don't think. Not a beaver either. I mean, this is like the common area for them. Has that changed? I don't know. But it's crazy. I haven't seen one. Hey, there's that elephant. That's one of the uh, dinosaurs I modded in. It's like uh, an aggressive looking elephant. Might have to try and grab one of those at some point. Oh, that's a low level. Oh, here's some stuff we can grab. At least this trip hasn't been a total loss. Let's head home now, though. I'm done. We'll keep a lookout for trilobites along the beach. I thought I saw something move by the water line here. Yep, there we go. Finally. We got a blue drop coming in here. We'll wait on it, grab it, and then call it a day. I can't believe all, the, all that time flying all around. Six silica pearls, that's all I came out with. Hey, there's a high-level hot dog. Fuck it. Let's get it. Uh, beef jerky, food, mushrooms, and some trank darts. Nothing great. Pooped. There we go. I was gonna name him Frank, but let's just name him Hot Dog. Avoid any confusion. Yeah, 15 silica pearls plus the six I picked up. 21, we're 24 short. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I don't know what's going on with the beaver dams, why I couldn't find one. Maybe they're located somewhere else now. They're not on the south side of the island as much. Maybe they're not in the game anymore. That, I doubt. Why would they take them out of the game? Maybe I just got unlucky, and there weren't any that spawned in. I don't know. We'll, we'll try again tomorrow, I guess, and I'll do a little bit of research and see what I can find out, because we want to get these silica pearls so we can craft this platform, saddle, build it out, Load up Wiggum with a bunch of dinos and make a trip to the new base because I want to start living there. So we can continue building that base up. And then we can start building our army and going artifact hunting and fight our first boss. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more ARK and I will catch you guys in the next episode.